All right, let's talk about kites. Kites are another classification of quadrilateral. And with a kite, specifically, there are two sets of sides that are congruent. So in other words, there's one pair of sides that are the same and another pair of sides that are the same. But all four sides are not the same. So specifically, there need to be two pairs, pairs, pars, pairs of matching sides. Boy, I'm not writing well, am I? Matching sides. And commonly, we see this shape right here. We get our two pairs of matching sides where two of them are quite a bit longer than the other two. And this is sort of the classic picture of a kite that we all get in our head when we think of one that flies in the air uh, attached to a string. And that's that definitely is a, a good example of one from a geometric standpoint as well. Um, a kite also can have one convex pair of angles where you know it sort of punches in like that. Although if, if that's the case, if that's what it has, it's technically considered a dart, um, sort of a subclass of kite. Now there are a few rules or descriptions that go along with kites. Let's take a look at those because we're going to be using those in your example questions. Um, first one is that with uh, when you have a kite, the two angles that are associated in between the matching pairs of sides. So you can see this one here on the right hand side is in between these two matching sides and the one on the left end here is in between these two matching sides here. Those are called the vertex angles. The other two angles, this one up here and this one down here, are the non-vertex angles and with any kite the non-vertex angles are equal. And then um, the diagonals, if you take a diagonal through the vertex angles of a kite, like this, connecting these two kind of long points here, you bisect the kite in half and you form two congruent triangles. So we have a triangle up here on top. Let's do that one in green. We end up with a triangle here. And it's opposite if we were to flip it over vertically into a mirror image. And that works for any kite. It doesn't have to be one that looks like the, the fly in the air style. And then if you were to take another bisector and split through the other two angles, the non-vertex angles, then you end up with a 90 degree corner right in here. So those two things are always going to be uh, perpendicular. You meet at 90 degree angles. And that's really it. So let's take a look at how these rules apply to the example questions.